The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. This week, joining me on the campus of Ori Georgetown Tech at the International Culinary Institute in Myrtle Beach is chef instructor and executive chef, as you always know, Tom Mullally, and he's got another great recipe for all you fish eaters out there. Tom? Hey, Bob. It's always a pleasure to be here, great man. Great to see you, my friend. Yeah, what do you got for us today? They keep eating job security. I'm serious. Fresh local black grouper. Oh, wow. Down from Seven Seas in Merle's Inlet. One of my favorite lines, no bland food allowed. There you go. So we're going to season this bad boy up, and we're going to do a grouper parmesan. Okay. So we're going to go, uh, when you bread something, Bob, it's uh, the same procedure for everything. You go flour and then egg wash and then whatever you want to bread it in. And today okay. happens to be Parmesan. Oh. So we took a nice piece of fresh local grouper, flour, egg wash, get the excess off. Now some Parmesan. We're just going to go on one side. We don't want to get too cheesy here. Okay. <laughs> and we put some oil in our pan. We're going to get that heated up. So okay, we now that's olive oil, right? Ah, uh, yes, we have some olive oil okay, going. Right. Yep. And uh, we want a nice golden brown on each gotcha. side. Okay. And I love to hear that sizzle of the pan. That's what ah, we're looking I know for, you, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a great sound. Us chefs love that sound. So we're waiting for our pan just to get hot for another 10 seconds. And then we're going to sear the uh, grouper parmesan. We've got some uh, Arecchietta pasta, Arecchi Tech. It depends on where you're from. I'm okay. Irish. I don't know exactly how uh, the Italians yeah, there you uh, go. say it. But here's our uh, grouper parmesan going down. Hearing that nice sizzle that we love. Going we, down and getting brown. We got it dancing, exactly. Mm. exactly. Tom, we got it in the oven. What's next? All right, our grouper's in the oven. It's a fairly thin piece, so it's only going to take a few minutes, but yeah. we're going to start plating our grouper parmesan. So we've mm. got our pasta here. It's uh, tossed with a homemade tomato sauce. When I'm plating, I like to put the starch down first, and we'll uh, put the grouper on and some beautiful uh, local vegetables around it. Oh, yeah. And we'll be good to go. Well, you know, I mean, seafood is always good year-round. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, okay. exactly. Got to have it. Got to have it. Oh, wow. Look at this. Mm. Okay, Parmesan encrusted grouper coming out of the oven. Want a nice golden brown. I don't want to totally cover the uh, starch, so we're going to go uh, half on, half off. Right. So we can see some of that beautiful uh, colors and flavors. Oh, look at and that. And then we've got some oven-roasted tomatoes. We're going to pop those bad boys on. Plate's starting to come alive, but we need some more color. And I uh, like to cook what I like to eat. I love broccoli, one of my favorites, asparagus as well. Mm. Good stuff. So oh. it's all coming together, as you can see. And now we're going to top it off, uh, Bob. It is a uh, group of Parmesan. So we're going to top it off with a little bit more uh, tomato sauce, maybe just a line going down the center there. Oh, yeah. Again, we don't want to uh, hide all that nice golden brown that we work so hard to do. And a little of some Parmesan. You can never get enough cheese, Bob. You know how that goes. <laughs> and there you have it. Sautéed grouper Parmesan, fresh and local, the way we like to roll on your show. Mm, Tom, listen, it's always a great time when I come down here. And I tell you what, you always have a great recipe. I can't thank you enough for being a guest on the show this week. It's always a privilege and a pleasure. Thank I tell you. you what. And folks, listen, I know that if you've got that chance, you always always buy South Carolina. Log on to CertifiedSE.com and see what's fresh on your menu. And I tell you what, we'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSE.com. It's a matter of taste.